What's good, YouTube? It's me, your boy, Squiddy, back again with another video. Sorry, the audio is kind of crappy because I'm on headphones right now because I'm away for the holidays. But a couple of days ago, I made a video about the OCG having a no ban list tournament. And one of the decks that was fairly, fairly popular and did pretty well was the Magical Scientist FDK deck that managed to get top four in that tournament. And a lot of people are kind of wondering how the FDK actually worked. I know I kind of like talked about it in that video briefly, but didn't really demonstrate the combo. Um, so if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But today I wanted to show you why this card can never be unbanned and the sheer power of this card. Um, to start things off, this card is actually a level 1 dark spellcaster monster. And the effect is pay 1,000 life points to special summon 1 level 6 or lower fusion monster from your extra deck. That fusion monster cannot attack directly and is returned to your extra deck at the end of the turn. Bear in mind, the first thing that you see when you read this card is that it's an older card that is not once per turn. So you can theoretically pay as many thousand increments of your life points as you possibly can. Meaning that when you start off the game, you can instantly pay up to 7,000 life points to summon up to seven level six or lower fusion monster from your extra deck, which is absolutely insane. And bear in mind, we already have instant fusion as a one of in the game currently that should be banned because of the sheer brokenness of that card. But the other thing about instant fusion, it only summons level five or lower fusion monsters. This card is level six or lower fusion monsters. And the threshold between five and six is absolutely insane. There's so many more broken level six fusion monsters in this game. This monster does not negate the effects either. There's basically no drawback. It also special summons instead of fusion summons. Instant Fusion treats the summon as a fusion summon, which comes up for certain monsters like Dark Vault or the Terrible, must be fusion summoned with the materials, so you cannot instant fusion for it, but Magical Scientist, you would be able to because of the fact that it's a special summon that bypasses the fusion summon. So without further ado, I'll show you guys how this combo works. Okay, we're going to get scientists on the table. Bear in mind that it is a monster, so it's a lot easier to tutor this, uh, you know, with ways to send it to your uh, graveyard using cards like Foolish Burial, um, it being a dark spellcaster, being level one, you can one for one it. It's a lot better than a random spell card that cannot be searchable. Uh, so there are definitely broken ways, and it puts a limiting game on the restriction and the design, because if they ever came out with cards that allow you to special summon spellcasters or like dark monsters easily, you could tutor this easily. Like, bear in mind that Curious is banned, but if we had more cards that allow you to tutor this, it just be more broken. So without further ado, we're gonna pay a thousand life points right away to special summon a level six. Doesn't matter which level six, we can just keep doing this. In fact, why don't we pay another three life, three K life points? So we activate this three more times just to speed up this combo. We're gonna summon two level six monsters, can be Evan A2 level six, as well as two level two tuner monsters, all being the essence of vanity that just came out in the recent pack. It's a level two fusion two uh tuner. That was actually made for ready fusion, but for the purpose of this broken combo, it actually enables a crazy FTK. We're going to synchro off the level 2 tuner plus the level 6 to make any level 8 synchro. It doesn't really matter. The second one will have to be uh, Geomathmic Magma, which happens to be the only synchro level 8 tuner monster. And here's where things get a little wonky. Whoops, I actually used the wrong, <laughs> wrong monster there. Magic Scientist is staying on the table because we're not done abusing him yet. So uh, we're going to use the level 6 and the level 2 to summon... The only level 8 tuner monsters, tuner synchro. And then here's where get, things get wonky. We're going to use these two monsters to special summon out Ultimate Lord Phantasmal Bish Falcon. This card is uh, always treated as a level 12, cannot be synchro summoned, must be special summoned by sending two level 8 or higher monsters you control with the same level of the graveyard, including one tuner and one non tuner, which we just happen to have. And then uh, the other fact is it gains 1,000 life points or 1,000 attack for every monster on the field, including itself. And then the uh, ignition effect. This is the interesting part. Once returned during either player's main phase, you can special summon the same number of tokens to each player's field. And the positioning, by the way, does matter. It has to be in the first or the third column. And I'm going to show you why that matters in one second, but it, just make sure that it does have to be in that column. Uh, we're going to give our tokens to our opponents, special summon five to their board, and then special summon three to our board. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to knit. Uh, leave that last token column on their side blank for now because we are going to do some uh, wonky trades in a second here, control shifts, and I can't on DB, once I put the tokens down, I can't actually remove them. So we're just going to pretend there's a token in that last column. From here, we're going to take the tokens and link them off. Okay. Link spider. And then we're going to make a link variable. From here, we're going to take these two and link them off again into... Geonator Transmission. This is the card that enables this and makes it all possible. Two effect monsters. Um, 
if this card points to two monsters, which it points to Ultima Abyss Falcon and the token, this is why the position matters. It has to point to this. Um, you can switch control of those monsters. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to give them the Bish Falcon. We're going to get the token on our board that they controlled. We're going to shift those. And then from here, we still have 4K life points. So we're going to use Magical Scientist another two times, pay 2,000, summon double invoked Raijin. <laughs> we're actually using our entire extra deck for this, which is hilarious. Raijin happens to be level 5. We're going to do something with him by overlaying into this card. Number 33, Chronomaly Machu Mech. And this card is two level five monsters. Once per turn, you can detach into material from this card. Target one face-up monster your opponent controls. It has to be your opponent controls. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference between its original attack and its current attack. And if you do, this card gains attack equal to the damage inflicted. So what does that mean? Well, Bish Falcon is a monster your opponent controls. Now it gains 1,000 for every monster on the field. So it has 5K on their side. And then we have five monsters, so it gains 10K. So you guys can kind of see the writing on the wall here. We're going to detach, target the Bish Falcon. They take 10,000 burn damage because that is the difference between its original attack and the current attack. And that would be in FTK immediately off the bat. So you can kind of see how broken this card is. Obviously, it's kind of niche and it did take our entire extra deck. But the other reason why I just don't think this card can come back is because it's an instant fusion on legs, you guys. It's easily tutorable, it's searchable, it's a monster, it's not once per turn, it does level 6 or lower, and there happens to be a lot of level 6 or lower fusion monsters in this game that can be easily abused, and I'll show you guys here. For scientists, we already have, like, I have here 30 fusion monsters that are already really, really good. There are basically eight whole pages of fusion monsters that are uh, potential targets for this card. Starting off, you know, the melodious one that we summon. This card allows you to target up to any three cards in the graveyard and banish them as a quick effect. So obviously, on your turn, you can already have, like, um, protect your own graveyard, protect your opponent's graveyard, stop things like the Beasteals from coming out. Uh, we have Raijin, which is a quick play Book of Moon as well to bait out of negation. Um, obviously, again, this is not once per turn. So theoretically, you have access to any rank sixes in this game, as well as any rank fives or else rank fours, rank threes, rank twos, rank one, so on and so forth, by special summoning multiples of those fusion monsters and then overlaying them. So an instant Beatrice, which makes this even more broken, not to mention links as well. We have seven free link materials off the seven activations of this card. So this is just a fusion monsters, but as you can see with link monsters, it gets even more broken and XYZ monsters. Uh, we can make um, Alvain, the essence of vanity allows you to synchro as well. So we have access to synchros as, as well. We have Norden. Don't forget this card when special summoned, you can target one level four or lower monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Uh, it's a free rank four. Um, we can summon, uh, you know, assuming this card was not banned, of course. Uh, we're just like covering all the cards that are potential targets. Um, Garura as well, you know, free draw as well. Center Mina, this card allows you to negate trap effects on your turn as well as special summon a level 2 or lower monster from your hand or graveyard. Could also be very, very potent for link plays or uh, XYZ plays. Um, and then you also have other cards like uh, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. This is what I was talking about. Instant Fusion cannot summon this because it's treated as a fusion summon. And a fusion summon, this card can only be done with the above fusion materials. Um, but this card is a special summon, so we bypass that restriction. We can just flop it onto the table and then start uh, foolishing light machine monsters from our deck to the graveyard. So other cool things, uh, DDD Flame King Genghis, again, like DDD deck would benefit from this, being able to drop these onto the table, multiples in fact, and then overlay afterwards for DDD XYZ monsters. And this card uh, is just kind of crazy. Uh, Dark Vault of the Terrible. Again, talking about the fusion summon of this monster can only be conducted with the above fusion monster materials, but this bypasses that. Uh, we can negate potential spell card effects. Obviously, it does get shuffled back to the deck, so I guess the more relevant effect is actually destroying an effect monster by battle and negating it. Um, same thing with Ryu Senshi. These are old go control cards that are very, very, very powerful with magical scientists. Um, negating normal trap cards, again. Uh, Dark Blade, being able to banish uh, three monsters from your opponent. Uh, obviously, this card is probably just better than Melodious. Uh, Diplexer Chimera, being able to attribute itself to prevent the activation of spell and trap card effects during the battle phase of this turn. Um, Dual Avatar Fists, when this card is special summoned, you can, you can target one attack position monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Free pop removal. Ojama King, being able to uh, lock down your opponent's uh, monster zones, which is absolutely crazy. And I'm fairly certain that the ruling is, if this card is gone, I'm not sure how that actually works if you overlay it. I guess... 
the zones will be free again. But if you summon this in their Gemini or this in multiple copies, you can lock out your opponent's entire zone so they cannot be steal you. They cannot special summon having this. They cannot do moves on your turn. Um, Magic Key Beast is another free level four tuner. Um, Kaminari Attack. Again, you can summon, if Colossus was legal, you can special summon up to three Kaminari Attack. Let's say you used a Sunder Dragon effect from your hand. You can special summon up to three Colossuses on your turn. Um, Mud Dragon of Swamp, you can prevent targeting. Um, the Runic cards, obviously, being super broken. This card, you can gain life points at the end phase in time, potentially gain up to 3k if you have three. I think it's not once per turn. Uh, yeah, and so it's, you can uh, use up to three. Uh, Cherry as well, you can, you know, target. Runic uh, non-quick play field spell cards in your graveyard. Uh, Hugin, we already know that searches this uh, field spell. Um, prank kids as well. You can tribute rocket rides for some back prank kids. Let's say if Meow was happening to be legal again. Pride of Land, you can use. You can't use the search effect because it's not fusion summon, but you can actually tribute itself to special summon some remove your deck and then search. Um, sea Monster of Cecius again, flexible level five tuner for synchro plays. Destiny Hero Dangerous, being able to go near hero combos. Um, Kikalos, we already know how busted this is with instant fusion. Well, magical scientists can do it even better. Um, a thousand eyes restrict and millenniumize to protect from hand traps as well as suck up your opponent's monsters. And then the Dynamorphia cards as well. They are level six or lower, so you can potentially go off into your entire combo. This card just enables so many degenerate potential FTKs, super broken boards with multiple Omni Negates, um, and is instantly easily searchable being a monster. I'm sure there are definitely ways to get this onto the board that I can't think of on my top of my head right now. But uh, I mean, like one for one even already makes it so you have two coffees in your deck. Um, so yeah, this is why this card can never be unbanned, and there are just so many degenerate combos. There are also also multiple other FTKs that I'm not even like thinking of at this moment in time that are probably enabled by this card. So as you can see, this card is super broken. Let me know in the comments below if you guys haven't already what you think about this card and other banned cards, what you think about the potency of this card if it did come back. And if you guys like this, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is for now.